Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. And we are priming the pump. Indeed. All right, so tonight I'm really, really excited about this whiskey. Um, I reviewed it um, on Instagram this week and I can't wait to get Russ's take on it. And this is the, uh, the Balcones. Um, this is a single malt. Um, this is a single barrel. So uh, single barrels are kind of interesting mm -hmm. because you never know what you're gonna get from barrel yeah. to barrel and everything too. But this one was uh, hand selected as short barrel and it was just for Georgia. Interesting. Which I thought was pretty awesome. Yeah. Now uh, it comes in at a whopping 65.8% ABV. So, um, oh yeah, it, yeah. I'm 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 not even gonna say anything. I'm just I, I just want him to gonna be breathing go, fire. Go through his experiences here, and uh, that is I am so dark. It is so dark. Damn. I mean, from this angle, it looks like you're pouring oil. I know, right? <laughs> this is a super dark whiskey. Yeah, it really is. Um, and um, I think this one was. Um, I don't think it has an age statement to it. Um, but it was distilled in 2015, hmm. uh, 16, so, um, or, or excuse me, 12, 15, 16, and bottled in 10, uh, 5, 20. Okay. So, I mean, it's four years old. Yeah. It is dark. It is dark. Oh, and dark, it's dark. barrel 15911, and that was a European oak. Interesting. So, it's a single, an American single malt. An American single Aged malt. in European oak. Yes. F roughly four years here. And it's 60 plus percent ABV. Four years in Texas. Ouch. I know, there right? There will be no shortage of flavor on this one. Uh, not. <laughs> that color's just I know. insane. <laughs> it really is. That is so dark. Yeah. It is like the, the deepest, darkest amber. Um, there's a reddish tint to that, and you would swear that there's sherry influence or wine influence or something just based off the color. But we've seen that with Texas whiskeys before where they impart color very quickly. Um, yeah, I wow. mean, it happens here in Georgia too. Anywhere where yeah. you get the, the wild temperature swings like uh, like we get, you know, yeah. you get those really hot hots. Um, you know, it really, you know, the expansion and contraction in this. And uh, and I think they're, I think these are aged in open rick houses too, so. Oh, that makes a difference too. We know something about that. Oh. The oils on this are just gorgeous, real thick. Yeah, I'm gonna lube my car with this later. No doubt, you hmm. probably could. Oh, all right. So what are you getting Ooh. on that? Okay, number one, the first thing that really surprises me is the ABV's not clubbing me over the head. Which I mean, at sixty-five percent. Oh, there's a nice fruit note to that. Yep, there really is. Now, wow. that's that almost presents like a like a strong hot no nah. lowland. I want to say lowland. I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're you're not wrong. You know, it it does have wow. flavors on it that you know flavors in this that I would I would associate with a uh, with a Scotch. Yeah, I was gonna say Highland, but I think the sweetness and the fruity note that I'm getting is more typical of a Lowland. Um, regardless, I just can't get over the fact the ABV is not just smacking me around. No, you can put your nose right into this glass. Yeah, and you're just not gonna get anything. Trying to figure out the 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 fruit note on this. Hmm, it's not berries. It's it's not berries. It's more like an apple. I there's yeah, a I could crisp, see that. There's kind of a crisp nature to it. I don't know if perhaps apples perhaps the right one. Right. Maybe but, more. But I do get like a like a pastry. You yeah. Know, like a like a Danish. You know, like a mm. like a mm -hmm. like an apple Danish. Yeah. Wow, I really like the nose. And on uh, that. you know, with the with the sugar on top, you know, the um, the yeah. sugar glaze on top, you know, I'm I'm getting that on here. Um, I'm getting a little tobacco in there too. Shall we? Let us. Cheers. Tomatoes. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Holy crap! So texture, this is amazing. The oils are fantastic. It's thick. It's viscous. It's dark. It's got lots of impact and flavor, but again, the ABV doesn't just kill you. It doesn't. Now there is there is a burn to it. Don't get me wrong. Yep. Um, there is definitely a little bit of a burn. A long finish on this one. Of course, with the uh, proof and the uh, the oils, I'm not surprised by that. I'm getting 
like a maple brown sugar on the back end right now with a little bit of a char to it. Yes. Um, that's really, really pleasant. And that's kind of the foundation for it. And then you get some fruit notes that sit on top of that that you get up front. Yeah, now I'm getting, a, um, on the back end of this, I'm getting like a black tea. Mm. And um, mm. and it, the finish to me is just a little tannic, mm -hmm. but, um, but not oppressively so. Agreed. No, it's definitely got some some tannins going on there, but I agree that it's not it's not the star of the show. In this case, it's kind of welcome for me, anyhow, just now, because it mixes it up. Now go back to the nose and open your mouth a little bit when you inhale. Now I'm getting more like a pear. I'm getting pear, but I'm also getting toffee. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there's no doubt about toffee. Yeah. There's uh, you know, it's like a. Um, oh, what's that candy yeah. bar? The Heath bar. Yep. You know, so oh. it's a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of toffee. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that is mm. just so pleasant. I, I could live in this nose. This is fantastic. Mm. I love... This is in my wheelhouse. It really we is. We tried a bourbon the other day from the Chattanooga distillery. And it, these two are similar as far as how dark they are and the depth of flavor and the little tingly that you get on the tongue that makes you drool all over the damn place <laughs> like I am right now, um, which is difficult when you're trying to talk. Yeah. Um, I really dig this. That is amazing. And I love that it's at that ABV. Um, that said, I want to add a little water to that because I am really curious now. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that too. Now, uh, on my initial one, I um, I did add a little bit of water to it mm -hmm. um, and just proofed it down just a little hair, just a hair. And uh, that really unlocks some interesting notes. Oh, I could see that. Definitely. Because one thing about this whiskey is it's very complex and mm -hmm. there are just layers and layers and layers of flavors. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, see, now that brought a little bit of herbal note into it. And I think I get more caramel yeah. now on the nose. For me, it pushed the fruity nature that I was getting before back. Yep. And now I'm getting more of the caramel. Yeah. So it's like a caramel apple, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I still want to put that um, that crumb top on there, too. Yeah. You know, it's got a little bit of those baking spices. and uh, Definitely getting baking spice. Mm. So that amped up the spice even a little bit more. Yeah, I think it depends on where you go with the ABV. So I brought my ABV down a little bit more, I think, because I had less in the glass. Mm -hmm. For me, this when you bring it down far enough, like let's say 40%, just throwing that out there, I think the sweetness comes up and the spice gets pushed back to where it's delayed. It still happens, but it takes a little longer to get there. Yeah. Uh, but you lose some of the some of the finer details mm -hmm. um, it mutes it a little bit and everything kind of blurs a little to where you can't pick out the individual flavors yeah, I, I think i prefer it neat i do too yeah and that's you know from a cast strength yeah i mean that's that's pretty awesome that is amazing <laughs> uh yeah that is stunning so okay what's availability on this one i have to ask um well it's a single barrel so um mm -hmm. Probably not, probably pretty limited, mm -hmm. um, you know, at least, you know, with this bottle, with these tasting notes, um, there's probably, um, you know, there's there's probably, sure. you know, you know, though it's a short barrel too. Yeah, so, um, and this one's specific for Georgia. This one was specific for Georgia. Oof. Man, well, they, they hit fact, that out of the park. It's got a little map of Georgia on it. That's right funny. There. Yeah. A Texas whiskey for Georgia. For Georgia. I'm not sure what they're saying about us, but apparently they think we have great taste in whiskey. Oh. And apparently we do, because that is delicious. That is, a, it is amazing. Wow. Yeah, I might have to see what availability is on that, because that's a, that's a keeper. Yeah, I'm well, impressed. Yeah, well, certainly yeah, this barrel, and your mileage is going to vary from barrel to barrel. Oh, absolutely. But uh, but these are, um, I mean, these have been carefully, you know, curated by mm -hmm. the uh, distiller. The uh, in fact, he, uh, he signed the back of the bottle, Jared Hinst. Hempstead. Well, I wonder, you know, I would think there would be some, um, obviously, some commonalities from barrel to barrel, 
Um, I'm curious what would change from one to the other. Um, would one perhaps have a little bit more vanilla to it, or would that toffee note be stronger, or what the deal is? But the the base of this one is just stunning. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. Um, <clears throat> age at least. Uh, I can't read that. Looks like there's something over the top of it. Yeah, like uh, I want to say uh, four years, five months in oak. Yeah. Looks yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. I'll go with it. So this is our second Balcones, if I'm remembering correctly. The we, first one was the blue corn, the, if I remember. The baby blue. The baby blue, which we thought was pretty good. Um, this one by far is my favorite from them that we've had thus far, and I look forward to seeing more from them. Uh, but that is impressive. All right. So, so uh, scale time. Scale time. This is going to be an easy one for me. All right, go, I'm go for it. I'm going straight to the five. I am that too. That is fantastic. I am too. This is, uh, I think right now, um, in, in this moment, mm -hmm. this is my favorite whiskey. I could see that. And what I love about it, there's no gimmicks. No. It's just a single malt whiskey that's been aged, you know, four years roughly in Texas. And they did a hell of a job with it. There's, like I said, no gimmicks. Wow. Yeah. And uh, this, I'll, I'll probably never get another bottle like this one. Yeah, well, damn it, I'm going to try. I know, right? I don't know. I'll where give I'm you the barrel number it. so you can yeah. look for that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all that. And yeah, for then sure. some. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. And uh, we'll see you later. All right. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Good Lord.